Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, I will show you my preferred method of joining two ropes together. And it's called the Flemish bend with a bite. Let's get into it. If for some reason you need to join two ropes together, for instance, your rigging changes and your ropes don't reach the ground anymore and you end up with a situation like this with the ropes being, well, more than a meter from the ground and you need to tie a rope to reach the ground or your work site. You can tie the double fisherman's knot, which is a good knot, but it gets really tight and it's hard to undo. I've linked it up there. If you want to have a knot that's a little bit easier to undo, we all know that a figure of eight is easy to undo because I've shown you that in the video up there. But if you prepare, but not properly, because otherwise your ropes would be long enough, but if you prepare a little, little bit and think about that you need to pass the rope, it's good to have a loop in there that you connect your cow tail to when you're passing. If you want to see how to pass the knots, again up there or maybe in the description because I don't know how many videos you can link in, the, in that famous upper corner there. So I will link it in the description and then you see that if you have something to clip your cow tail in when you pass the knot, that it makes life more easy. The knot I use for that is called the Flemish bend with a bite. First thing I tie is a figure of eight knot in the rope that's already installed, but loosely. Because I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the other one, I'm going to re-thread a figure of eight, but it's going to be re-threading on a figure of eight with a bite. Right here. So I have a a loosely tied figure of eight on a bite. You can see on the other camera, this is better. There's enough room to put the rebel through. I start somewhere, first hole where the bite comes out. So I go up, I sort of guesstimate, I want a tail end like this, or maybe a little bit less, or maybe a bit longer, no, a bit, bit less. And I follow the bite through, back through the rope, all the way around, the same as I would do with a regular re-threaded figure of eight. Move this to the side a little bit, and in the end, I end up, I dress it. So I've dressed it, let me show you how. So from this side, you can see the blue rope is coming in and it's following through and it creates its own figure its own figure of eight and all the strands are nice neat and parallel so we have three here three here three here if we turn another round it's the same i have one two three one two three and one two three so now i dress the knot i hold the knot i take each end and i pull it out and then i go to the bottom Take each end of the loop and pull it out. And now, if I would be coming down on rappel, and this would be my, for instance, my backup, I can just clip in my cow tail in the loop or in the bite, pass the knot with my backup device, take out the cow tail and continue on down. It's that easy. And because it's, a, let's call it a triple figure of eight. It's very easy to undo if you leave this in for a longer period of time. And in the end, we all want to get home and have fresh ropes for the next working day. So it's good that it's easy to untie. The, so the Flemish bent with a bite. If you like this video and you want to stay connected, hit that subscription button, that notification bell, like the video to support the channel. This video was sponsored by Industrial Klimme. The beautiful training center in the Netherlands, just north of Amsterdam, where they provide all kinds of different working at heights related safety training. You can come here for your IRATA training, your GWO training, your tower worker training, any training with working safely at height, also fire awareness and first aid as well. There's a beautiful web store or a physical store behind that wall over there. So if you're not able to make it, just follow the link in the description to visit the web store. And if you do that and buy through that link, you will get a nice little discount using the code 
and you will support the channel as well. If you have any other knots that you use to connect ropes together, please leave them in the comments. I'm curious, I would like to know. I will see you in the next video. Stay connected.